Good morning. Good morning. Right. Okay. So first of all, give me a little bit about who is Val Benjamin. Okay. Um I, I'm a ordained, I'm an ordained minister of religion in the apostolic faith. Okay. Yeah, I was born in Jamaica. Um, however, I came to England at the age of 13 and went to school in England. And, and what I've experienced, uh, excuse me, I've got such a bad throat today, excuse me. Yeah, from what I've experienced at school, has given me a passion to reach out to other black people and to look at their cause and the effects. Because at the time when I went to school, there were only two black children apart from myself at the school. Therefore, it was very horrific. The amount of um, racism from both teachers and pupils, it's just unexplainable. So I did not have the confidence or the self-esteem to stand up to express my cause and my feelings. However, I, after a few years, having left school with no qualifications, I got married and I've got three grown children, three grandchildren and two great grandchildren. Yes, I'm, and I feel very blessed. Um, after a while, I realized that there's a gap in society. My children have had, I had my struggles and then my children had their struggles as black children. Therefore, I could not just sit and ignore what is happening. I, like I said, I did not have the confidence or the support around me to look at how we could make a difference. Okay. Okay. I have a question for you. Um, I'm going back to the fact you said you left school with no qualification. What were the factors that caused that? Because technically speaking, when our parents send us to school, the expectation is that you come out of it with something, you know, which can then move you forward. So um, for the benefit of those who are listening, um, could you explain to us what were the things that you encountered? And the other thing I want to ask you, just move over a bit so you're more centre, so we can see your beautiful face. There you go. <laughs> Oops, is that better? That's much better, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm just using my iPad. Okay. So, okay, the cause again, for every cause, there's an effect. And some of the factors why I left without any qualification, I, again, the racism at school, both from teachers, uh, saying you can't do this, you could, could not do that. And of course, there were home challenges because I was not brought up with my parents. And so, again, although I wasn't experiencing racism at home, I was experiencing mental and physical abuse. Oh. <laughs> so therefore, there were a lot of factors which prevented me from gaining the, uh, um, or for producing what was, in, what was in me. I did not have what, it, what, what, what um, to take out what's in and bring out the best of me. Okay. Well, I will then go on to say you went on to produce a book, Val, Val Benjamin Tentis. Not only did I produce the book, after many, many years, I went on a course at Dudley College, mm -hmm. and that was after being divorced mm -hmm. and bringing up the children. And I was encouraged by one of the teachers to pursue a career in teaching. So, <laughs> so which was very encouraging. Yeah. I then went on to pursue my career at 
um, not Birmingham universities, um, University of Central England, it was called at that time, but it's now changed its name. So there I went on to do my teaching. I went on to do teaching, but at that time it wasn't called just a straight B. Ed. Mm -hmm. It was called um, um sorry, it was called um B. Ed with teachers training. Okay, right. Yeah, B. Ed with teachers training. And I did my area in humanities. All right. Yeah, so that that makes me a humanitarian. <laughs> <laughs> that that's for the it's for the love of people and justice. Okay. Right, and this is why I went in that area. So yes, I feel that I've got something now to build up my confidence. However, that did not um, fulfill my need to have good self esteem to build up my self esteem. So, based on what you're saying, I can see where your, your past has really sort of impacted why you would be involved in the We Matter Party now. How did that come about? It's by divine intervention or, or divine orchestration. <laughs> yeah, because, like I said, I had no self-esteem. After doing, even after doing the teacher's training course and everything, I still did not feel confident. I did not know who I was. I then went on to do um, life coaching. I went to do a diploma in life coaching. And it's at that point, I realized I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I realized that I'm unique. I realized how special I am because of who created me. Yeah. And it's on that basis, I just, I just lost the old person and I found a new me. And this new me prayed and the Lord knew that I had a passion for justice. I started out doing an, uh, doing an organization for young people and to see, to get more understanding of what they're facing, what they're experiencing. And they, they empowered me. They, they themselves, the young people empowered me because I realized they're at a place where I could take them from there to where they wish to be or where they should be because I came from where they were to where I am now. Okay, so you became a role model in a way. Thank you. Thank you, yes. And yeah, I don't believe in just talking the talk. Mm. I emphasize very much and I believe very much in walking the talk and living what you say you will do. You asked about how I came about with the We Matter party. Like I said, it was God just took me from one place, one position, and just landed me <laughs> in the middle of the We Matter party. And because the bishop um, asked me to do a a, a talk at their pre-launch mm -hmm. and all what I wrote down to speak about I did not do that the Holy Spirit just took over and expressed all that was in my heart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and every passion that I had in my heart for change just came out on that day and that is the beginning the rest is history <laughs> so um i had a long long interview with um desmond. i'm sorry i so i had a long interview with desmond on friday <laughs> and i can see that he's very passionate and um he speaks like a politician a lot 
<laughs> you know, so mm -hmm. that was good. And so I just gave him free reign to say what needed to be said, which is excellent. And um, so what I'm wanting to know from you, your role is the outreach and membership director, yes? That's your job. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. No. Um, and I'm asking this based on how I know other people will ask is, well, why should we support or join the We Matter Party? Just another political party. What's so special? Wow, that's an excellent question. And I was hoping you would ask. Yeah, yes. The, the, if 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 I if I was to say to you, like I've explained earlier on, that what I saw in the early years did not make a difference from where I was coming from. The We Matter Party, however, we are transparent. We we walk the talk. We are a people's person centered. We are not based on just one section of the community. We, although we are a black led party, we are not, uh, uh, we are, we do not isolate anyone or exclude anyone. We're there for to meet the needs of the whole person. And not only that, we are a God-fearing set of people who love people because God loves them. Like, again, it's all about inclusion. It's about looking at the, diff the, the dis disenfranchised set of people. And what I normally say is, how the world views some people these days, especially the black community, it, it are the three L's, the three L's, the least, the last, and the lost. Therefore, we are sending out a big statement that none of us are lost, none of us are the least and none of us are the last. We are all, it's about equality and it's about justice for all. That is a powerful statement. Uh, the three L's, I like that. Um, sorry? I said that's sorry, it's me, I have to speak up. <laughs> I'm saying that is a powerful statement and I like the whole concept of the three L's. That is, that is important. I think the, you made the point that We Matter Party is a black led party, but, okay. they, but, but you are inclusive. Right? Absolutely. How would you respond to people um, who say, well, those people, all of the people who are not black, have their own parties they've got their you know they've always got their own thing so why do we need to include them we need something that is for us that deals with our needs etc and understand our culture how would you deal with those sorts of naysayers okay i personally would say that when a politician come on to speak to you they've been led by white led they've been white led but they say that they're for all people mm -hmm. however this is just quite the contrary, contrary to us. Although we're black led and we, um, we like I said, it's not exclusively to black people. It's about these three L's. It's, it, it, it's about those that are cast aside. I would say it's about not just for the rich, it's about meeting the needs of our community and our society where they are to be met. Okay. My next question is, so will people say, so are you a Christian uh, or party then? You know, because we don't believe in God, you know, and then, you know, our ancestors believed in whatever. So we don't, so are you a Christian party? How's that going to work? Okay. Here we go about equality. 
And um, yeah, so it's about, although I may be a Christian, that is my, that, 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 that is my um, choice. But again, it's about freedom, being free, because uh, talking about Christ again, Jesus came to set the captive free. So we don't want to, you know, captivate anyone or um, we, it's about justice. It's mainly about justice and love. Do you have other members of the team who are of a different religion? Absolutely. They, that it's about, again, being, uh, we live in a diverse community. And therefore, again, I will emphasize the word equality and inclusion for all. What do you, what is your marketing campaign? How are you getting out there so people know about you? Okay, first and foremost, I believe that word of mouth is very powerful. And, and if, um, as they'd say, the proof is in the taste of the pudding. And therefore, people have, we are, oh, we've got the media, of course, which is very powerful and essential. However, I believe that when someone makes a recommendation, I think that's even more, that carries more bearing, it's more powerful. And again, because of our transparency, people will talk about us. And this is why I believe in building a rapport and I'm, I build rapport very easily. I, I do mentoring, okay. I do training, and I've had some excellent positive feedback. And those are recommendations define, from real people. Define transparency. Sorry? Define transparency. Okay. Define transparency from my perspective in, or in from relation to We Matter Party. What we what we do, we do not just make up 10 points rules or plans or we we um we we liaise with uh, with the people and it's about the needs of the people and listening what the people are saying not just listening but applying what they're saying what their needs are and where the and looking at where the gaps are so that they can be filled okay can you give me an example of that okay like for example I find that there are a lot of um, mistrust amongst people in general mm -hmm. because people say, I'll do this, I'll do that, we're this, we're that. But when it comes down to it, it it's completely, totally the opposite. Mm -hmm. And as well as, say, for example, our children, I believe first and foremost, I must be real amongst my children. So be transparent, as I said, be who, uh, be what I say I will be. No pretense, just have a passion for what the gap that needs to be filled and fill that gap. For example, I find that with our black community, there are a lot of mistrust within the police. Mm. Yeah. Right. So therefore, I was very encouraged when Bishop Desmond went as a PCC, the um, Police Crime Commissioner, because he's spoken with the people, he's lived amongst them, he's worked amongst them, and therefore we have to get our hands dirty. We have to get to know the people and to be a part of the people, not be just a political party by ourselves. It's inclusion, including and listening and applying. 
How many members do you have at the moment? I'm not sure if you're aware how recently the party has started. It's um, only in early March and yeah. yeah no, and I, I know, but for our readers, okay they won't, right they, they won't know uh, that's why i'm asking the question not because i don't uh, know, but because i understand I yeah. and within that short space of time we have got over 200 members and there are people still inquiring well i would hope that the um the function and the purpose of this interview is that when the magazine goes out, and we are a weekly magazine, and we do our, go out to over 50 countries, that even within the United Kingdom and people and um, black people within the diaspora who are of Caribbean um, descent or UK British would want to be interested in the We Matter Party. So what would they have to do? How would they get in touch with you? And what are the requirements to become a member and all of that? Could you tell us? Okay, they can get, we, we are available at www.wematterparty.org and you can get in touch through the website or email info at wematterparty.org. Also, I find at the very at the present moment that in collaboration with the We Matter Party, we don't just operate a political party, but the benefit of becoming a member, you are involved in whatever area you wish to be involved. In, we have got a, a, another section of the party which is we deal with young people, educating people about their how to get their voices heard, how to participate, how to engage. We, we help people to be developed. And like I said previously, I had no self-esteem, no confidence. This will be offered to members, okay. training, training in these areas. Right. developing members that is good i'm sure our readers will be glad to hear that um okay and um last but not least i do know the answer to this but i'm asking it anyway is um so who funds you how is the party funded because you know with the other bigger parties they have people who push money in and as a result of them pushing the money in there's a certain way things must go so for people who are a bit cynical about, especially about a black, a black party, you know, so, so who's giving you the money? So, you know, whose agenda are you um, following? Okay, now this is where I talk up again about being authentic, transparent. There are people who get big fundings and no delivery. Mm. We are, at the present moment, we are self-funded. Okay. Yeah, and in spite of being self-funded since March, we are able to accomplish so much. Therefore, can you imagine if we get the unity and the support, how we could really carry out and be effective in the area that we are intend to do? How much does it cost to become a member? Just eighteen pounds per year. For the year. Yes, per annual eighteen pounds. However, if from what we're doing for those people who have passion and want to see a change, because uh, there's a saying: if you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got, and that's insanity. Yeah. So therefore, we have to change. And we cannot be the change by ourselves. We need you. We need the public to cooperate, to interact, and to make this change come about. Okay. I know that Bishop, when I spoke with him, 
was mainly focused in the uh, West Midlands. The West Midlands. The present moment. Present moment, because he was talking about the stepping stones. You know, it's a one step at a time. Um, but I did put the question to him, and I put it to you as well, that mm -hmm. when the magazine goes out and they read about We Matter Party, and um, there are people in London who say, "Oh wow, you know, we need we really need it down here." Um, how easy would it be to set up a chapter, as it were, in London or in the various, or Luton or you know Leicester or anywhere else where there's a group of people who come together and capture your vision, capture your vision, and say they would like that here because we need um, we we are victims, as it were, of the free elves, and we need your help here. So how easy would it be? Okay, well, we try to make, this is why, again, we listen to people and we act on what they're saying. And if people are making inquiries in those areas, excuse me, that is saying to me, excuse me. That. People are interested, so therefore, we're about empowering people. Mm -hmm. It's not just saying we have a party. We will say, how about you're making this inquiry? What can you bring to the table? How would you? Because it's all about each and every one. What can you do? And so where there's a lack, we will reach out to them and then at this present moment in time, we've got two people in London working there and other people from different parts of England, Scotland are making inquiries. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so what I'm saying is there are doors opening to make, make it available for others to walk in. Okay, that is, and that is the main point that um, people will realise that when <coughs> They um, read about the We Matter Party, and even though you are very young, but you still had success, even at the, the last elections, because um, for Desmond to get over seven thousand votes, you know, you know, in nearly eight thousand. Oh yeah, in nearly four or five weeks, it is <laughs> remarkable. All right. So um, he also said, "We're here to stay." Absolutely. That is the other thing that people think. <laughs> Let's all be gone. Right. And um, I'm sure we would want to see that this time next year you're still you're still around and you are much bigger and you have a presence not only in the West Midlands but in London and other areas in the UK. So um, as a final word. What would you like to say to people about the We Matter Party? What is your invitation? Uh, okay, I cannot stress enough the need to have the We Matter Party to address the issues around surrounding our communities. I cannot stress enough the need for change. I cannot stress enough to do things to include each and every one so we cannot create a perfect world however we can play a part in making our communities safer and our young people more um eloquent in speaking up and make our young people know who they are what they're here for and what they are about. It's all about humanity. It's all about securing a future for our generations, building bridges okay. for our future generation to cross over and live in a better place. Okay. Um... Another question is that when you look at the young people today, young people today are very vibrant, they're very vocal, and you know they are wondering what 
uh, we of the older generation, what have you left for us? Because the same racism and issues that you spoke of, that you experienced all those years ago when you came to England are the same things, if not worse, that they are going through now. So their argument will be, so what makes you so sure that this party is going to make a difference, all right? So from that point of view, my question is, people would want to, when they're hearing about the party, hear more specifics as to the, not sort of the general, this is what we're going to do because we want people to do this, that, you know, to be, live better, etc. But we are going to do A, B, C, D, and be held account for the A, B, C, and D. Um, how would you, how would you uh, approach that? What are the sort of A, B, C, and D that you are going to be or are implementing at this moment that people can identify with and say, I want to be part of A or I want to be part of B? Okay. First and foremost, like I said in the previously, we do not just prepare a meal and put on the table and say eat. We'll ask, what would you like to eat? What would you like to be put on the table? And listening, what would the young people like to be placed on the table? And once they've identified and told us specifically what would make them enjoy their meal, that's then we prepare and it's about listening, hearing, I agree, and applying. I know on the 27th you have like a town hall meeting that you organize, um, and I'm assuming that is for the purpose of listening. Absolutely. So, um, is that just for people in that area, you know, the West Midlands area, or is that? Uh, Zoom meeting that anybody can join. We are very open and although we're building a foundation, we do not ex expect to stay forever building a foundation, but however, we need to make sure the foundation is safe and secure. And so, yes, it's for each and everyone, because each and everyone has something to bring to the table. And so therefore there's no limitation. It's open to nationally. And therefore we would love to see that each and everyone are participating and taking an interest so that this foundation that we build can be fully built and stabilized. Okay, all right. That is excellent. That is excellent because I think that's what people want to know that it's not just if you live in Birmingham. <laughs> so if you live anywhere else, they don't have a, a, a access, but you're saying that that's not the case. So that is good. not at all. It's open and please, we love to put, we, we, we love to interact. Yeah. We are an interactive, inclusive, party not just standing on a pulpit and telling you this is what we're going to do we invite you to the table so that your voices can be heard um i wish you all the best in all of this um i'm gonna pause the recording now so val what um specific groups are there um, that people could get involved with right at this point in time? What um, groups are working with the We Matter Party? In collaboration with the We Matter Party, we've got the HEN, H-E-N, which is Holistic Empowerment Network. Mm -hmm. Network. So it's about empowering young people to get engaged uh, to help with their studies. They can come and ask for help 
with their studying. We look at money management. We look at, we do workshops where young people or whatever age you are, we can um, form a, a meeting and engage with you for you to discuss. So you can discuss what sort of needs are required at the moment, whether it's training, financial management, education, empowerment in, like I said, it's holistic. So it's looking at the whole person and therefore we can arrange what across the community, whatever the gaps are to fill with the, not just young people, but middle age and even the older age group people so that we can meet the needs of our whole community. How do people get in touch with that organization? Okay, now they can go to www.holist, um, sorry, info, sorry, it will start again. It's info at holistic empowerment. I'm sorry, it's dot all, but I'm not quite getting it correctly right now. Let me just um, check the, because we've just, we've recently changed it. So I'm trying to familiarize myself with it. <laughs> okay. So if people went, it went through um, the info at Green Matter um, Party. They can be signposted. Yes, and they were saying, well, they, they heard that um, the lady. Sorry? They were saying that um, Val mentioned this holistic group. Him. Yeah. How do I get hold of them? They would still be able to access um, him through that through that means, yeah. Yeah. So if they go to the um, We Matter Party okay. and make the specific inquiries as to what their needs are, then it will be signposted to the appropriate department. Okay. Okay. All right. That's a, that is true. Do you have an actual building where people come to? We do have, however, we, well, we did have, but due to the COVID situation, <laughs> of course, that's not possible at the moment. Okay. However, we are in the process of, in actual fact, expanding the small office that we had because due to the amount of inquiries and and again meeting people face to face that is very important to us right don't you find or let me ask you during this time of lockdown of the whole of last year there has and people have been isolated um in a way traumatized in situations because we know that the figures for, for example, domestic abuse has gone up and um, people need places to go to talk to people, to get help with their mental state and sometimes their physical situation. Um, is this a, an, a place where they could come to, to talk to, call and call? talk to? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, one of the things that I did not mention, I'm also a chaplain for the Birmingham City Council. And some of the things that we do, whilst we, we the, the, the facility weren't there for um, visiting, we were liaising over the phone, Zooming and um, WhatsApp, chatting, we made sure that people were still connected in some way. Right. right. Yeah, so therefore, once this um, challenge is out of the way, even more so, we'll make it more face-to-face -face and meeting people and, and interacting okay. more so. Okay, that is that is good to know as well. So, do you all have a, a phone number that people can call, or not yet? Or the phone numbers, if they go on the website, 
if they've got the facility, it's it is all there okay. on the website. Yeah. Um, or oh, like I said, we matter party website or the hen website. Um the We Matter Party website. The hen website is www. Um my hen dot org. Well that's nice. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, nice. so either way, if either way, once they go on the website, all the information are clear and precise on either website. Brilliant. But more so the We Matter Party website. The HENS website is mainly for training and all the activities, etc. Okay, okay. As long as people kind of know that that, that facility is, is available to them. Absolutely. I'm sure they will think. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you for your time. It has been a pleasure. It is a pleasure. <laughs> <And> <laughs> all the best.